friends, I'm Lulu, and welcome to Judson Sunday Arts, where kids of all ages can make art that matters. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and if you're joining us today and are blind or have low vision, I'm a 34-year-old white woman with short, dark blonde hair. I'm wearing a blue and white dress that has buttons, a collar, and cap sleeves, and there's a big bookcase and cabinet behind me with books and other things in them and art on the walls. This is our last Judson Sunday Arts, and we're going to end where we began, with poetry. You will need something to write on and something to write with. Happy September and happy Labor Day weekend! Labor Day is celebrated as the unofficial end of summer, but it began as a way to celebrate the labor movement in the United States and to honor the hard work that people have done to build this country and keep it going. We're talking factory workers, miners, and people in service jobs that are tough with little pay and few benefits. There's a lot about labor and work in the United States and the world that's not fair. So it's important that we support everyone who is fighting for fair working conditions and a fair living wage. The poet Carlos Bulosan was a labor rights activist of Filipino descent. There's a picture next to me of him that is in black and white, and he's looking directly into the camera and wearing a suit and tie and wide-brimmed hat. Bulosan was a novelist, poet, and activist, and he emigrated to the United States from the Philippines when he was 17. The poem we'll read today, called I Want the Wide American Earth, was published in 1950. Let's read it. I Want the Wide American Earth. Before the brave, before the proud builders and workers, I say I want the wide American earth, its beautiful rivers and long valleys and fertile plains, its numberless hamlets and expanding towns and towering cities, its limitless frontiers, its probing intelligence for all the free. Free men everywhere in my land, this wide American earth, do not wander homeless and are not alone. Friendship is our bread, love our air, and we call each other comrade, each growing with the other, each a neighbor to the other, boundless in freedom. I say I want the wide American earth. I say to you, defenders of freedom, builders of peace, I say to you, democratic brothers, comrades of love. Their judges lynch us, their police hunt us. Their armies and navies and airmen terrorize us. Their thugs and stoolies and murderers kill us. They take away bread from our children. They ravage our women. They deny life to our elders. But I say we have the truth on our side. We have the future with us. We are millions everywhere on seas and oceans and lands in air, on water and all over this very earth. We are millions working together. We are building, creating, molding life. We are shaping the shining structures of love. We are everywhere. We are everywhere. We are there when they sent us to prison for telling the truth. We are there when they conscript us to fight their wars. We are there when they throw us in concentration camps. We are there when they come at dawn with their guns. We are there. We are there and we say to them, you cannot frighten us with your bombs and deaths. You cannot drive us away from our land with your hate and disease. You cannot starve us with your war programs and high prices. You cannot command us with your nothing because you are nothing but nothing. You cannot put us in all your padded jails. You cannot snatch the dawn of life from us. And we say to them, remember, remember, we shall no longer wear rags, eat stale bread, live in darkness. We shall no longer kneel on our knees to your false gods. We shall no longer beg you for a share of life. Remember, remember, oh, remember in the deepest midnight of your fear. We shall emulate the wonder of our women, the ringing laughter of our children, the strength and manhood of our men with a true and honest and powerful love. And we say to them, we are the creators of a flowering race. I say I want the wide American earth. I say you too, sharer of my delights and thoughts. I say this deathless truth and more. For look, 
watch, listen. With a stroke of my hand, I open the dawn of a new world, lift up the beautiful horizon of new life, all for you, comrade and my love. See, the magnificent towers of our future is a fire with truth and growing with the fuel of the heart of my heart and unfolding and unfolding and flowering and flowering in the bright new sun of our world, all for you, comrade and my wife. And see, I cry, I weep with joy, and my tears are the tears of my people. Before the brave, before the proud builders and workers, I say I want the wide American earth for all the free. I want the wide American earth for my people. I want my beautiful land. I want it with my rippling strength and tenderness of love and light and truth for all the free. Snaps! What did you notice in this poem? With what you know about Labor Day, why is this a poem that celebrates it? Did you notice things we've talked about before on Judson Sunday Arts, like repetition, alliteration, and assonance? Did you notice imagery and contrast? I love how direct this poem is, how it takes the reader on a journey through hope and anger and sorrow and back again to hope. What kind of poem would you write to honor workers and the labor struggle? That's right, it's art making time. This week, we are writing poems for Labor Day that celebrate workers and support the ongoing fight for labor rights. Decide what you want your subject to be. Then, write your poem with all or some of the poetic tools you know about like repetition, metaphor, imagery, and wordplay, like alliteration, assonance, and rhyme. You could spend five minutes or a whole week writing your poem for the labor movement. If you love what you made, send it to me so I can celebrate with you. Be safe, wear your masks, and happy art-making friends. Thank you. See ya.